Russia may announce an additional mobilization on January 15th, the main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry stated. This time they will mobilize not only natives of the Russian provinces, but also residents of large cities. In total, they intend to arm up to half a million Russians. The mobilization, a draft on which already exists, will also take place this time in major Russian cities such as Moscow and St. Petersburg. Men who now work in both social spheres and industries that generate income for the Russian economy will join the Russian armed forces. Andriy Chernyak, representative of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, in an interview with the T-Online media. Rumors of full mobilization are also spreading among the Russian military. One of these conversations was intercepted by Ukrainian intelligence. There are rumors, and moreover from different sources, that there will be a full mobilization. Here is such a stuff, whether before the new year or immediately after. And supposedly attack will be there, something like that. We are waiting for an attack from there, and we ourselves will attack Russian military from an interception by Ukrainian intelligence. The Kremlin intends to use recruits to compensate for losses at the front and prolong the fighting in Ukraine, former U.S. Lieutenant General Ben Hodges is convinced. The Kremlin only cares that the masses of people fill the trenches to buy more time until the West withdraws its support or until the Kremlin can create better forces for a new offensive. Ben Hodges, United States Army officer, in an interview with the RBC Ukraine publication. Many Russians understand that a new wave of mobilization is coming. However, there is no reason to expect a riot, human rights activists say. We must remember that in Russia there are about 3 million law enforcers. Any protests are dispersed harshly. There is no doubt that even if some large crowd gathers and suddenly by some miracle 100,000 people take to the streets, then this crowd will simply be shot. For people who are in Russia and close to the protest movement, this pessimistic picture is obvious. Russians who do not want to go to certain deaths in Ukraine are forced to hide from representatives of the Military Registration and Enlistment Office or escape to another country. Even if Russia closes the borders, options can be found, human rights activists assure. We are all happy to help. Contact us please on a Telegram channel Go by the Forest. Our contacts are easy to find. We answer from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. We have several hundred volunteers, psychologists, lawyers. We help to cross the border and even provide financial assistance to some people. The armed forces of Ukraine successfully repel attacks by the Russian army and a new mobilization campaign will not change anything, the Ukrainian intelligence service stated. It will also not prevent the offensive operations of the Ukrainian armed forces. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Vladosurkan, UATV News.